Hello all, I am Kasam Sheikh and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we'll quickly go through an object storage service, a storage offering from Alibaba Cloud. We'll see how to manage uh, this service uh, through Alibaba portal. So here I am uh, into the Alibaba portal. I have uh, as a prerequisite, you can say you need to uh, sign up with Alibaba cloud and it's free and it's very easy to get uh, sign up. It gives an uh, uh, free credit of uh, $300 for two months for 60 days so that you can explore more and more service it also provides like uh, what all service can be used for uh, the given amount and all so here is the uh, portal which we are into uh, let's quickly uh, I have already signed up and uh, let's go to object storage service uh, here you can uh, uh, there is a concept or you can say uh, like you need to create a bucket for having an image uh, like the objects or the files which we upload it comes uh, under this bucket uh, so we can we we can create a new bucket from uh, under this section but first when you when you land up to this page of object storage service it will ask you to activate this product uh, uh, there is one uh, a small tab saying activate this product and it will then lead to uh, uh, take it will take four to five minutes to get activated and then you can see that inside uh, the orders section see over here like uh, when it was activated and all so it again comes on uh, 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 along with uh, the free credit you can use those free credit uh, inside uh, through this uh, so let's go to uh, let's create a new bucket from here create a bucket so for the naming uh, for naming the bucket it has some validations as you can see uh, it should be in lowercase and all let's uh, create one demo or video uh, you can select the region wherein uh, the storage service will be deployed uh, let's go with Hong Kong uh, it has some uh, two classes uh, for storage one is standard and uh, the another one is IA as you can see uh when to use ia and when to go for standard you can very well uh, it has a descriptive over here let's go for standard for this video uh acl it's nothing but an uh you can say an access uh for your bucket for your objects and all uh you can set this uh, you can change uh this acl for a particular bucket or of in uh, or a, a particular object inside that bucket but by default all uh, the objects all the acls or all the access permissions for the objects are uh, get inherits from the bucket they are into but you can have you can change the permission for the objects also later on we will we will just have a look uh, into it in a uh, few minutes so let's select for uh, let's go with private and click on submit so this will create our bucket as you can see uh, let's go to this section and here is the bucket i do have some existing bucket into my account so this is the one which we created let's click on it and you can see all the details like about this region and created date and time and everything uh, is listed over here it has this small blade about the overview settings and all you uh, this is the url this is the access url uh, by which you can uh, authorize uh, your application uh, to talk with alibaba or storage services this is the main url and along with this url you need to pass to very important credentials that is access id and um, access password that is secret password so you can get those things from here this access key sections so we will say to it later uh, there is bucket settings uh, as you can see we selected the private one uh, during the time of creating this bucket we can change it to public read and public read write from here uh, so settings like the configuration like for cores and domain management everything can be done from this section bucket settings objects are the one which we upload the files or uh, images anything which we upload to this bucket would be listed over here uh, this image processing is uh, one of the feature which is being as of now at the time of recording is uh, limited to uh, certain regions but as we selected Hong Kong it is available for Hong Kong region uh, 
so let's create and uh, create a folder we can create it from here you can see the same similar validation goes on for here like uh, folder hyphen YouTube let's click on submit and images the folder is created uh, let's click on this now inside this we can again upload some image let's uh, upload this OSS demo image you can see it comes into task and it says okay the upload is successful now you can go to object again and that would be listed under this as you can see here so as I said uh, like if you click on this you can see the details the image preview the name uh, you can uh, create or generate an uh, public URL from here so as I said like uh, for the ASL it inherits from the bucket so for the bucket it was private you can see when you click on set object ASL it says it inherited from the bucket but again you can change you can go and very well change it to pro private or uh, the public read and public read right uh, similarly uh, you can just click on this view URL and you will get a URL to a public URL to access this object just copy it and open it on in the browser can see this image so it just created an public URL for the same again uh, with the same manner you can uh, upload a number of uh, images or files into it you can uh, manage the access you can configure the access uh, simil in the similar manner you can just click on delete for deleting this object it will just ask you click on this to come to the main uh, to the root folder just click on delete it will ask you for the permission confirmation and that's it so it's a very quick uh, you can say uh, uh, we are go through we are doing for this uh, object uh, this OSS and in the same manner as you can see over here you can come to know how many uh, the size of the storage inside the bucket the request like uh, retrieving the data retrieving the objects uh, objects or uploading the objects everything is being uh, nicely uh, or detailed information is being given i just click on some other bucket into my account and you can see see uh, as you can see there is uh, a number of requests per hour you can see right here here you can see the put request and get request so this was the get i made it and this was there was no put as i believe okay so in this similar manner you can just query uh, the metrics from here you can select the different uh, buckets uh, uh, being created into your account the time span and you can just query for the number of days and months and you can do a real-time monitoring over it so let's go to this overview let's and in the similar manner how we deleted the objects we can delete the bucket just click on this delete icon you will get a confirmation again and just click on confirm so you saw how quickly uh, we just created an object and we created a bucket we created we uploaded images inside it we changed the access we changed we created a URL we accessed the URL we again deleted the object deleted the folder and deleted the container so it's a uh, really easy going it's a very really easy interface to work upon this uh, in earlier uh, to this video I said that there was an uh, there is a two important parameters when you want to communicate your application with Alibaba cloud service that is access uh, key uh, access key so you can get it from here just click on this mouse over on this and you will get this access key and uh, all the keys you can just click on continue to manage access key and you can list uh, there will be a list of keys over here. you can just create on create a click on create access key and it will just agree to the terms and conditions and it will create a key so you can use this ID and click on this for getting uh, the secret uh, password can again hide you can disable this pass disable this key you can delete this key and again yes I will be disabling this key because I am right now showing the this password and uh, ID into this video so I'm no worries I have to no worries about that it could be misused because I will directly after this video I will delete this uh, <laughs> I know the users will not attend attempt to such things but just for uh, a real-time scenario I'm telling you like it could be done so no worries about it the billing management uh, as I showed you about the orders that is uh, the OSS product which is being now I subscribe for this account 
so this was a quick high level overview to manage uh, the object storage service of uh, and storage offering from alibaba cloud uh, i would recommend to just uh, log in uh, just try to sign up for this uh, get the 60 days trial period gets the credit into uh, into your account and uh, explore this service it's really cool it's really easy to use uh, there is a lots of documents and reference uh, documentations being provided by alibaba to get into this it's supposed .net php python and uh, different languages so hope you enjoyed this video uh, kindly subscribe to my channel and i will be back soon thank you bye bye